Hello, and today I'm going to be looking at Darkwing Duck issue 8 by Dynamite Comics. Written by Amanda Diabert with art by Carlo Loro. The main cover by Leslie Lee. So far, the Darkwing Duck comics from Dynamite have shown a marked improvement, with this issue continuing on the storyline that was started in issue 7. But let's dive into the story. It picks up directly where issue 7 left off with Darkwing, Launchpad, and Goslin searching for Launchpad's compass that was stolen in the previous issue as they race to try to beat Neptunia to the punch. Little spoiler alert, Neptunia does not appear in this issue at all. She's only mentioned, but never actually appears, which is kind of a bummer. While Darkwing doesn't really seem to be all that invested in actually searching for Launchpad's compass. That is, until Goslin makes a call, and Gizmoduck shows up. Which, there's no way Darkwing's gonna get shown up by both Neptunia and Gizmoduck. So, that gets Darkwing refocused to continue the search for Launchpad's compass. Where they come upon a giant ice maze with an abominable snow duck that's guarding it. Which leads to shenanigans and hijinks. As they get separated and Darkwing has to try to figure out where everyone is, this one definitely is more heavy on the action and the, the shenanigans and hijinks. It definitely comes off as a middle chapter in an ongoing story. Since you need to have read issue 7 to understand what's going on, plus also, there is no resolution to the story. As of right now, you can't really give this issue a fair assessment until issues 9 and 10 are released. There are a good amount of funny lines. The art is even more expressive. Carlo Loro definitely has figured out his way of, of putting his mark on these characters. Specifically, Launchpad. Amanda Dybert's definitely got a much better handle on these characters when it comes to dialogue and their behavior. So all in all, an entertaining issue. Neptunia was barely in the last issue, and the fact that she's entirely absent here is incredibly disappointing. You could have at least had a few panels where we cut to what Neptunia is doing. But I digress. Overall, it was an entertaining comic, and I will be picking up issue 9 when that comes out. It's not as strong as some of the, the last couple issues, but it is definitely better than the first couple. I would not recommend you pick this up if you haven't already picked up issue 7, because you will be confused and have no idea what's going on. If you have been picking up the comic, then you might as well just pick up this one as well. Well, till next time, see ya.